I'm Dr. Liberty Vittert, Professor of Data Science. In this video, we're going to head to Georgia for the race between Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock and former football star Herschel Walker. Warnick was elected in 2020 in a special election to fill the remainder of the Republican Senator Johnny Isaacson, who resigned due to health issues, which of course ultimately took his life, in December of 2021. Walker, a standout, probably one of the best, running backs at the University of Georgia in 1980s and later in the USFL, where he played for Donald Trump's New Jersey Generals and the NFL. For those of you that have followed the DDHQ forecast model this campaign season, you know that the Georgia Senate races have bounced back and forth between a toss-up race and lean Democrat. Heading into Election Day, Decision Desk HQ rates this race as a toss-up, with Warnock holding a 52-48% chance of victory edge. The DDHQ polling average is Republican plus one. Really important to note that throughout the campaign, Warnock has held a substantial lead in fundraising with almost $14 million cash on hand for the home stretch to Walker's $7 million plus. So there is going to be a lot of last minutes money spent in this campaign. Uh, I would not have, want to have to be watching the commercials in Georgia. Walker, the Republican, has survived a series of personal revelations during the campaign and doubt about his suitability uh, to hold office. But he has not lost the ball yet, no actual pun intended, yet um, that was most likely due to his performance in the campaign's single debate, which surprised everybody, including me. Polls close at 7 p.m. Eastern in Georgia. Once results start coming in, make sure to keep an eye on the Atlanta suburbs in the Cobb and Gwinnett counties. They moved substantial to the Democrats between 2016 and 2020. Warnick will be really looking to run up these leads of 12 and 16 percent, respectively, in these two counties. Expect Walker to post big margins in Forsyth and Fayette counties. If he can get a whopping 40 plus percent lead in Forsyth and 10 percent in Fafayette, then he could be on track for a good night. But there is one serious quirk to watch out for in this race, and that's a runoff. There is a libertarian candidate in the race, and they could pull enough votes to prevent either Warnock or Walker from cracking that 50% threshold. If the race does go to a runoff, it will be in December this year, a month earlier than it was in 2020. So it'll be a much longer election season. I'm Dr. Liberty Vittert, and that's Decision Desk HQ's look at the Georgia Senate race. Be sure to check out our forecast model linked below and our other videos right here on YouTube.